Hi guys, this is an English tutorial on how to purchase an altcoin on the exchange called Nova Exchange. The first thing you would need to do is you would need to go and create an account. Once you've gone onto the site, which is NovaExchange.com, create an account. I have created an account, so I'm just going to sign in. Okay, so once you sign in, you will see all the latest news. Everything gets updated over here. The very first thing that I normally do, guys, and please, uh, like I say with all the exchanges, get to know what all these various um, tabs mean. And what, you know, just play around. You can't hurt, you can't break anything. The first thing I normally do to is I go to my balances. And yeah, you'll see, um, if you haven't clicked hide zeros, your screen will look something like that. If you already have coins on the exchange, which means you shouldn't really be watching this video, um, it would look, you could click hide zeros and you could see exactly what coins you have in your wallet on this exchange. All right, so once you've done that, guys, the next thing you do is you select the base market. So here we say Bitcoin, okay? Bitcoin is the base market. I could then go run down all of this here Okay, and I can, can select a coin that I want to work with. Okay, and let's say, for example, I can't find the coin. I can always search for it over here. And today, I want to work with Ethereum Classic. So, okay, so you'll see what it does. It automatically populates the price of Ethereum Classic at the going rate. Okay, guys, so if you look down here at the sell orders, all right, this is the going rate, that's the number of Ethereum, that's the Bitcoin value, and that's the total as you run down, okay? If you look at this, these, this side here is the buy orders, okay? So these are the guys that are placing an order for Ethereum, and they're prepared to wait for the price to come down. So maybe they believe the price will come down, so they place a buy order, and if I had to click that, you'll see how it changes it over there. And I could then place my order for Ethereum Classic, and if the market drops to that rate, it would fulfill the order. All right. If you're not prepared to wait for that, and you want to get your Ethereum Classic immediately, all you would do is you would click on the, on the exact market price, if you're looking for 2.21, you see that's what's available at that price. Let's just say, for example, I'm only looking for one. That's my um, my price I'm getting. That's what how much Bitcoin it cost me, and I click buy ETC. You have bought one. The order was filled. Okay, great. So now if I go back to my balance in my wallets. You will see there I have Ethereum Classic, they take a small fee. I have practically one Ethereum Classic. All right. Now, guys, should I have wanted to, um, if, if I, for example, wanted to place a buy order because I believe that the market, that Ethereum Classic was starting to drop, all right, I could come in at any particular price over here and let's say, I want to wait for the price to drop to that price. I click that. I type in the number of Ethereum Classic I want to buy at that price. And I say buy ETC. Created a buy order at that price. Close. Now what will happen? It will wait for the market to actually reach that price before it fulfills it. So really what's happening now, it's actually reserving Bitcoin for me. Okay, waiting for the market to drop. Once the market drops, it will fulfill that particular order. So if I want to see my particular order, I go here and here I can see here's the order. If it drops to that particular price, 
it will fulfill the order. I could cancel it if I wanted to, or I could leave it just like that. Okay, guys, that concludes the tutorial on how to buy an altcoin on Nova Exchange.